here we have almost red 1983 cent you see it is such a beautiful specimen with a cartful effect you see when we tilt the coin we see a cartful effect this is lustrous specimen 1983 but again it's starting to let me go to large screen it is starting to degrade due to not keeping it in a holder but surfaces are very beautiful we have just one large carbon smatter on the around the ear part we have one just die chip here it's very small die chip just a tiny dot what a beautiful specimen i also want a carbon spot here below the eight backside is almost contact free as well you see i think it's in mint state maybe 64 63 who knows but it's for sure uncirculated coin with just minor and few distractions so no large contact marks no large gouges and so on let's check its value probable value in 93 i think it was doubled ear there was doubled ear variety for 1983 but let's check out as well So mintage was massive, 7.7 .7 billion, as you know, as I told you before, this is the one year after transition, US mint transition to copper plated, uh, uh, copper plated zinc pennies, therefore, see, it bears a little mass of copper as uh, compared to pre-1982 pennies and therefore it's not that valuable as 1982 uh, before 1982 pennies so and let's take for example ms66 starting from ms66 uh, pcgs population starts dropping and the guiding price for 66 specimens is $22 MS67 $65 MS67 plus $130 and MS68 $600 but the condition rarity is MS68 specimens with plus designation meaning something between 68 and 69 but lacking some criteria doesn't meeting some requirements for achieving full MS69 grade therefore graded MS68 with plus like like a grade you get I don't know how is your grading system in school but in our schools we, we got marks like 5 plus when you do better than 5 or 4 plus okay this uh let me go to other camera or ms 68 according to 
Gemma 68 plus. How come it hasn't been sold? So let me show you another specimen with blisters. This is a coin of PCGS. Coin, uh, I would say. The featured coin by PCGS for 1983 red as you can see this one also comes with blisters and pretty large blisters i would say including liner liner blisters as, as well here we see also around the date and mainly on the focal areas of the fa face around the beard and so on so this is uh, one of three MA68 red specimens, the topest available, but according to PTGS coin fact, none of them have been sold. So they have no listing of sold items here. Empty just three specimens, including this one in MA68 grade with guiding price of $5,000. So it's worth a lot of money if you achieve I MS68 mean, plus grade. Let's go to our next coin. So if you have some. So if you have something like this, dated MS60, dated 1983, and you think it is a much prettier than this, with a perfect strike and no distraction at all, not even carbons like this, and contact marks minimal, luster better than this, you should send it for grading if you achieve ms68 and higher it is worth hundreds of dollars and even sometimes thousands of dollars for example with plastic ignition it is five thousand dollars worse around five thousand dollars but again everything depends in coin market everything depends on supply and demand but for the present time, just uh, three or three or five. Yeah, just three specimens was graded MS68 plus from out of mintage of 7.7 .7 billion. Just imagine how rare they are in that condition. So let's go to our. What year is that? Oh, a relatively modern penny, shield penny from 2020 with demand mark, meaning it was struck by Denver Mint. But as you can see, I touched it with my dirty hands and I have a fingerprint here, obviously. Too bad it will leave. It will uh, boost and accelerate the fading process of the copper coppery surface, as they are very sensitive to uh, humidity, uh, perspiration, and so on. But it's also very lustrous gem, almost no large contact marks and luster is outstanding and strike is very sharp let's check backside as well here we also have some carbon smatters also some touch of 
curve on here on United ED of states of United States of America on A of America as well, the last A. So those who think this is just a pocket change, a mere pocket change, you are absolutely not right because in higher grades this is worth much more than its face value and I will show you now let me find out 2020 D Lincoln Center. CGS Yeah, I found one. So this is a record breaking sale for 2020 D. Uh, it is, you see it's inside PCGS slab, graded MS68 red. It has actual serial number. You can check it for yourself if you have any doubts as it is just a picture provided by PCGS and it was sold on eBay for a lot of money according to PCGS coin facts the super gem was sold for $4,999.95 this is auction record until this day so this is not if you think it's just a po mere pocket change, you are not correct. You're wrong because if you send it for grading, you can get a nice result. But again, if it is much better than this one, this, yes, yeah, this is not that valuable. It is just average, maybe uncirculated grade. And it is already have some traces of starting environmental damage because of my improper preserv preserving this coin improperly and touching it with my dirty hands, dirty fingers. Not dirty, I mean with uh, perspiration and so on. So guys, hundreds of dollars if you if you achieve MS sixty seven and higher MS sixty eight after sending submitting this coin for uh grading but again it is better to send these coins for grading to professional grading services that are well widely known like pcgs ngc anx at least these three agencies have uh, prestigious status for coin collecting uh, for coin grading Let's go another sh 